What is going on, y'all? Welcome back to the MG Cup Series here on NBCSN, and welcome back to Watkins Glen International. Three videos in one day is crazy, um, but simulating the whole weekend in one day here as uh, we are pressed for time. Uh, I hope you guys had a happy Thanksgiving. Yes, I know yesterday was Thanksgiving, and um, you know we didn't really get what is Jeff Burton doing. We didn't really get um, any. I didn't really get a chance to say that until now. Obviously, we didn't upload any videos yesterday, so you can all enjoy your Thanksgiving. But um, yeah, we're doing away with the Black Friday dash this year, and instead, we've got our own uh, little bit of a dash here at Watkins Glen. Three dashes in one day. Green flag in the air. We are racing. And they are stacking them up. We got a big impact into the tire barrier for one car back there. That's the 22 of Dave Blaney sideways. The 6 of David Reagan's also destroyed. And that's going to bring out a caution early on. One car is in the grass. They are wrecking them up back here. One is on its roof already. Robbie Gordon, what are you doing, buddy? Not keeping all four wheels on the ground here. Oh, man. What a wild start. Caution is out. And uh, that 7 car is destroyed. Let's go back and take a look at what all just went down. Okay, so a lot happened here. Stacking them up in a turn 1. The 26 gets shipped off the racetrack. The 22 bounces off the door to 88 and hard into the tires with the 6. Hard, hard on the brakes gets by, and then they're wrecking them up further up. So you see the seven of Robbie Gordon gets turned up and over. What happened here? Reed Sorensen. Oh, they're three wide through the S's. Gordon gets hit, hits the tire barrier or the guardrail, excuse me, in the same spot that uh, Trevor Boyce hit it in. This time he bounces off, flips over. Comes to a stop on his roof after getting clipped by Jamie McMurray. Wow. Wild opening lap, but we're not done. Green flag is back in the air. We're back at it again here from the Glen. Kevin Harvick tried to take the lead, tried to shut the door, and Denny Hamlin couldn't quite. Here comes Hamlin underneath. Couple cars spinning around back there in the back. This John Andretti in the zero. Backwards back there, and uh, Got more carnage and 86 is around. Chris Mack, big time damage for the aid of Dale Jr. We saw him have a pro. Oh, the 66 gets turned up onto his side by John Andretti. We saw the 86 have some sort of an issue, it seemed, as he went straight into the S's and through the grass, completely out of control. Oh, man. I had to check up there and oh yeah something definitely broke on that car because it just snapped and hooked back to the left clips the guardrail boom nowhere for green to go nowhere for junior to go nowhere for McMurray to go and then here comes John Andretti on the brakes just can't get it stopped in time wow the rest of the field getting through the S's Denny Hamlin continues to lead from the Glen. Green flag back in the air. Oh, and they're wrecking again. Brian Bickers is around. David Gilliland, big wreck. Bickers came back across, hit Gilliland. Kenny Wallace. 31 of Jeff Burton. The caution's out yet again. Pace car is already out on the track, ready to catch the field. Hamlin through the S or the bus stop cleanly yet again. Still your leader. Doesn't look like anybody else wrecked. We all saw it unfold there. No need to look at the replay. There we go. Green flag is back in the air. We're going single file this time. Hamlin in the one. The five of Kyle Busch overshoots a little bit. 
One car way off the racetrack back there. It's the 43 of Bobby Labonte. Gets back on safely. The 07 Clint Boyer. With some damage, but still trying to work his way up into the top 10. How about the two of Kurt Busch underneath Kevin Harvick? Aggressive, bold move through the bus stop, but he made it work. Here comes Ryan Newman trying to follow his teammate through as well as we go through the carousel. Harvick, though, is going to get the run off and the preferred line entering the next corner. We're going to take a quick break as we finally complete our first green flag lap of the race. We'll be right back. Welcome back to the Glen. Hamlin continues to lead. Starting to spread out a little bit. So uh, we're going to take another break. And welcome back to Wat Watkins Glen. More of the same. We're going to take another break. So I don't have to waste you guys time. Oh, whoa, whoa. Caution is out. Who brought it out this time? Maybe debris? I believe it might have been a debris caution. Totally not a phantom caution, just a debris caution, you know. Saw something out on the track that they didn't like and uh, through the yellow. So let's see. Just watch the pace car at this point. Waiting for the lights to turn on, on the pace car. And there they go. So let's see, is there any cars backwards anywhere? No, strictly a debris caution. So that's gonna jumble things back up and we'll likely have another double file restart since we did get some laps in under green. So let's stack them up and see how it goes from here. Hamlin, oh, Kyle Busch, great jump on Denny Hamlin, our race leader, but Hamlin has the inside in a turn one. Can he keep his nose underneath that five car? No. Oh, big wreck in a turn one. Multiple cars off the racetrack. That's gonna bring out another caution. And the 01 still getting spun. There are cars everywhere, man. Oh boy. Let's take a look. What we're just saying, they just drove in and stacked up. Oh, the O or the eight. Ugh. The 13 got hooked right into the door of Biffle and a bunch of other cars slid off with him. And look at the 31. He gets jacked up from behind. Gets his rear tires completely picked up off the ground. And that's what sent him around. Alright, let's try that again. Double file. Final restart attempt. Hopefully, as it'll be two to go green white checkers green flag is back in the air we're racing yet again Hamlin and Bush side by side Kyle Bush getting a great push in a turn one from his teammate almost turned him sideways he got bumped by Jimmy Johnson Kyle uh, Kyle Bush Denny Hamlin still neck and neck heading into the S's Jimmy Johnson still pushing on that fives back bumper Hamlin backs off, entering the S's, trying to get a run up the hill. But here comes Johnson with a huge run. Jimmy Johnson's going to sneak by. He's up in the second. Clears that 11 car for P2. Here comes the 20 of Stewart looking for P3 on his teammate. Hamlin not going to back down that easily, though. One car is spun through the bus stop. It's the 16 of Greg Biffle. But we're going to keep it green. As Biffle got into the wall there pretty good. But he's still rolling. Kyle Busch continues to lead from Watkins Glen. Can he steal one from Hamlin here? As Jimmy Johnson tries to reel him in. Final corner. We're going to see the white flag this time by one lap to go from the Glen. As Kyle Busch continues to lead. Biffle is going to head to pit road. We'll bring that car off the racetrack. And we'll be able to keep it green here. Kyle Busch, though. Through the S's. Final time up this very steep hill. 
as we get to the top of the hill, entering the bus stop for the final time. Kyle Busch hard on the brakes. 48 of Jimmy Johnson right there. Denny Hamlin closing in on Johnson's back bumper, trying to get back by him for second. Final time. So we got a crash in the back. I'm not sure why. Or caution, rather. Not sure why. Must have had a crash. Hamlin tried to get to the outside of Johnson. Couldn't quite make it stick. Can he get underneath to the inside? Final corner. Side by side is not going to be enough. Kyle Busch is going to win. Johnson holds on to P2. And Hamlin comes home third. What brought out the caution on the last lap? Let's take a look and see. Why the pace car is out on the racetrack to catch the field on the race back. Or after the race back. Oh, the car is getting spun around back here. Brian Vickers was sideways. That's what did it. All right, that's gonna do it. Hope y'all enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe. Kyle Bush is your winner, and uh, see y'all next time. Till then, peace.